What is going on, guys? It is Matt with Seth Bricks on here on another Flashback Friday. Um, I promised I'd show this, guys, to you, but this is my Star Wars uh, novel collection, uh, book collection, whatever you want to call it, um, that I started getting back in the early 90s. Actually, I think it was 1994 is when I got my first one, um, which was Shadows of the Empire, which is right up here. This is a great book if you want to have some great backstory on Vader. This also has uh, Prince Zizer, uh, and it has a great story about how uh, the Emperor was playing off Prince Zizer and Vader uh, to see who would be like his number two. Because uh, that's right in between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Um, up here you also got some great novels. You've got kind of like the Han Solo trilogy. Um, you know, if you guys want to know how everything really went down with Han Solo, uh, like getting the Falcon and whatnot, this is the books to read. Don't watch that crappy Solo movie. Those three books right there explain it all in nice vivid detail and it's amazing because that's what they should have used for the source material. Um, this one is an interesting one, The Truce of Bakura. Um, this one takes place the day after the Return of the Jedi. Um, there's another uh, alien that invades. I can't think of the name right now. But it basically happens the day after Return of the Jedi. And it talks about uh, the Republic struggling to put it all together. Luke is incredibly weakened from his Force lightning exposure. It's kind of a, a neat book that happens right then and there. Um, of course, the X-Wing books, if you want to know more about Wedge Antilles um, and everything he did after the movies, anything that's X-Wing book down the line, there's another one. There's another one. It's it's uh, really good information on him. Then, of course, you have the Thrawn trilogy right there. Um, and, of course, the courtship of Princess Leia is actually pretty good, too, because this is how uh, Han was able to beat out another guy um, for Leia's hand in marriage. Now, this set right here is a really good one. Uh, the Jedi, uh, I think this is Jedi Academy Trilogy. Uh, yeah, Jedi Academy Trilogy. So these three books here, uh, these ones here, sorry, my brain freezed for a second. Um, talk about Luke starting to rebuild the Jedi Order and starting to work through it. And one, and it induce, introduces a great villain, Yassane Isard. So that's her right there. Um, so it brings her into the fold. Uh, and if you guys want to know about a great um, villain, she's definitely one to, uh, you want to read about. Now, there are some absolute duds in these books. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Children of the Jedi, Darksaber, and The Crystal Star are three of the hardest books I've ever had to read uh, for Star Wars. A lot of those focus on Luke and developing his Force uh, abilities and whatnot. I ain't going to lie, guys. They're brutal reads. Uh, but then you get here to these three right here. I think this is the Black Fleet Crisis Trilogy. Yes, it is. The Black Fleet Crisis. And you want to know why they call it the Black Fleet Crisis? Because this is where you get the Eclipse mentions, is in these three books right here. Mainly it's in Tyrant's Test, but you hear them talk about it in these ones. So if you guys want to know about the Eclipse and where it originally came from, these three books right here are the books that talk about the Eclipse. All right, and then you get some more uh, Han Solo-focused ones. And then you come down here to these ones, which are the New Jedi Order, which is the battle against the Yuz Han Vong, about how they invaded, they took Coruscant, everything. This is a great 23-book set right here uh, that goes across it. They talk about, you know, Mara Jade and Luke's kids. You talk about Jason and Jane and Solo, uh, Ben Solo, uh, the original one, not the one you see with Kylo Ren. This is the better Ben Solo story in this one right here. Um, and then these two actually before uh, the new Jedi. Are starts, this is actually the books uh, where uh, Luke and Mara Jade uh, fall in love. So this kind of de details their relationship, how it came to be and everything. Um, and then you meet r immediately right into Vector Prime, which is the new Jedi Order. So thanks for everybody that watched on this Flashback Friday. These are all the original books. These are not the uh, reprints. Uh, as you know, some of them have some serious wear. Like you can tell I really love to read Heir to the Empire. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you next time here on Sith Bricks.